Single player Tarkov is a game catered to the individual. If you've never played this game before, it's a lot of fun. You can use all kinds of different mods from the modding community. Um, it's completely offline. If you've never played it before, I'd recommend giving it a try if you like to play games by yourself, or if you don't have a choice like I do because you simply don't have friends. Damn! The game can be catered to any kind of edition i want to say i mean i personally own the edge of darkness but i could play the basic edition if i want to on here i mean it's just the thing that it's the way it rolls but there's also a couple of mods that add a couple of other editions like easy start where you just start off at a ridiculous level with ridiculous money because uh, you know you're overall bad at the game like me but <clears throat> anyway i'm not going to be choosing that one instead i'm going to be doing the zero to hero which literally starts you off with absolutely nothing. I mean, you have zero dollars in your bank account and you ain't got no dad, just like I don't. Stop it. Get some help. So, the way this is gonna roll is I'm just gonna add a couple of rules. They're gonna show up here on the screen. So first, feature me here. Okay, so there's only four rules. Can't go to the same map twice. No scab runs. Free run every five levels. And we're not doing one quest at a time, ain't nobody got time for that. Goodbye. So th that's how we're going to start off this one, because as you can see, if I come over here, I have nothing. No dollars of any kind. Doesn't matter which kind of cryptocurrency I own, I, it's zero. Um, but I do have a nice big old fat pack. What? I don't know which mod that's tied into. I still chose Zero to Hero and it gave me this. Last time I started Zero to Hero, it gave me a, a, a waste pack. It was like three slots and it said good day and goodbye. But so I'm going to take this shit for granted real quick. The only problem is that anything that's still incompatible cannot go there. But that aside, I'm going to jump into, I don't even know, woods or customs. Let me flip a coin on this. All right. It said customs. So uh, I guess I'm going to go into customs and, uh, just run around for a bit, hit all the secret stashes, see if I can get me a backpack or a gun. Um, and then that's all I'll have until, like, later on. Oh, the second thing is, uh, we can't insure items and, um, where was I going? <laughs> so, anyway, we're just gonna dive right into it. I had a long discussion going on before this, explaining the rules, and then I forgot them as I was explaining them. So, I'm, I don't know what to do with my life, but I'm gonna free roam into this. And uh, let's see how it goes. All right, so we loaded in. As you can see, I have every expo because I wanted it as realistic as possible. Because I mean, who says that you can't enter an area and leave that same area? Where am I? Oh, I know where I am. Okay, so I'm just gonna loot as quickly as possible because, like I said, I don't have a lot of time. It's still kind of dark out too because you know it's like five in the morning. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna take that. No, I can't take that. Oh, uh, I can. Uh, the, maybe. I don't know what that's for. That looks new. Um, can I grab this? Oh my god! Wait, I can put that in my pistol? Why? Why can can that, can that go on the pistol slot now? Hello? PSD, gross. But hey, oh my god, I also actually have a pistol. Alright, so we're moving that to the side. Moving that over. This is fine. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's unload that. Unload this. Drop that in there. Check. Perfect. Throw that on. Bada bing, bada boom. We're working with fire now. Look at that. Got a pistol and a uh, SMG. So we might be doing, um, whatchamacallit runs. Uh, factory. Ooh, hello. All right, what I really need is a backpack. I mean, all these things are nice and dandy, but I mean, I can sell everything afterwards. Oh my God, Lord Almighty. It is dark, it's dark. So another nice little mod that I like is, uh, there's a weather mod and also a time mod. Um, I like to play these for the sake of day because I feel like this would help uh, YouTube a lot better. So I'm gonna just go ahead Come over here to 10 o'clock in the morning, make it clear, set it, and now it should be daytime. Alright! I don't know why it's not clear. I'm pretty sure I demanded that. Okay, that's thunder. I don't believe in that though. That's a make-believe concept. Oh, juice. Juice is good. That's good. 
That's good. What are you? That's a kiln. Not bad. Looks like I'm doing nothing but factory runs. Alright, we're gonna hit up all the stashes. Might montage this, might not. But if you don't know where all the stashes, there's one right here. Oh, please be something good. Can't put that on, but I can put that in there. Hell. Oh, Glock 17, much better than a TT. Don't come at me for that, though. I do believe in Jesus. Ooh, let's see here. Uh, sugar is gonna go well for us at the beginning. That too. Any grenades? Oh my god, this thing is loaded. Okay. Perfect. So, I should prioritize just running around looking at the stashes first. Because if I can get a bag, or even a vest, that will help me out in the long run. I don't even know why I'm looking over my shoulders. I'm all by myself here. Just like in real life. Nearly full. Alright, so that's good. Haven't heard a uh, supply drop come down at all. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, helmet. Oh. Penis helmet. Uh, get rid of that splint. Add this one instead. I, I don't know why I'm dragging and dropping. I honestly do know how to do the, all the real things. What are you? Oh, that's squash. I don't even believe in that as a real thing. It's a made-up concept, just like taxes. Uh, I wish a supply drop would come. Because that would be really nice here at the beginning. I mean, would I even be able to carry it? Do, do supply drops even carry, um... Vests and backpacks anymore? I think they do. But I don't think we're going to get one on this run. Which is sad. Makes you wonder how big these stashes actually are. Yeah, there ain't going to be nothing in here for me to carry. Yep, nope. Another one over here by Old Gas. I have a feeling we're gonna have a really rough time. Why did I choose this edition? Oh, that's right, I hate myself. I'm not going to show me running around doing all this extra shit, so um, I'll catch you guys uh, once I'm done. And then we'll go over what I got. Alright y'all, as you can see, I've spent a good part of like 52 minutes here. I got a lot of stuff. I, I, I have no other words besides the fact that I love single player Tarkov, because the loot pool is insane like just take a look at that like wh what is with all these intelligence folders and i think i have more in here too yeah i have two more in there so it's awesome but unfortunately we don't get to keep any of this stuff for uh quest purposes since this is my free run so yeah so i pretty much only get the weapons and whatnot. Eh, I don't want that stuff anyway. Alright, take me out. But, we'll get to, obviously we're going to get XP, 5700 XP and 52 minutes spent in map. Obviously no kills because that was my free run, but oh my god. Alright, so I leveled up three times, mostly because I was running around just eating and drinking, but Customs is a is one of the bigger maps, so and it has a lot of nook and crannies to explore. I mean, it's obviously not as big as woods or anything crazy, but it 
was a lot of fun, very relaxing to just run through, do my little free run, because I better appreciate all this stuff now, because I'm not going to have it in about 30 seconds when we start the next raid. But I'll get all this organized and set up and sold for anything that's quest and hideout related, because since it's a free run, I don't get to keep those. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys as soon as uh, all that's allocated. So we got our stuff mostly allocated. We made 735,000 rubles off that run, which was an insane amount. And I'm so lucky that I was able to get that. We didn't get an airdrop, obviously, or I would have shown that. But this is what we ended up with. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start on the first mission. If you guys have already heard, I changed up the rules a little bit. I know that we just started playing today, but it's my game, so I'm going to do what I want. So, obviously, I can free run wherever I want, but uh, I can only do one quest at a time, and I can only move to a different area once I've completed that quest and take on a new quest. I can't do multiple quests at one time. It's just one, and then complete that, and then move on to the next one. So obviously the first task we're gonna take is debut by proper. And we're gonna head straight into... Oh, yeah, no, I, I can't turn that in because I got that from my pre run. So, oh, okay, so this one has changed. It used to, I'm pretty sure it said on customs before, but it says all over the Tarkov territory. So we're actually going to go to customs since free runs don't count. And I love customs so very much. It's not my favorite map per se. I don't know which one would probably be my favorite. Actually, I do. Uh, Factory would probably be my favorite map. But we're going to hop into customs with this shotgun and pack a, and all this gear that we got from our free run. I'm leaving the backpack behind because hopefully we could just kill a scav or a PMC that has one and um, move on from there. I'm going to top off on my water, too, wherever I left that. Okay, so boom, we're all set. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to be drinking that much water because I think this one, yeah, this one heals you for a lot more hydration. Oh, well. Uh, all right, so I'll see you guys in customs. All right, where are we? Oh, we're over by Big Red. Um, not ideal, because that means Ruoff is over there, and I don't have the long-range capabilities to be taking on Ruoff. So we're just going to go over to Junk Bridge, see where we can go from there. Pretty sure it's going to start lagging in a little bit. Yep, there it goes. So when the game lags like this in single-player Tarkov, it means that it's loading in all the PMCs and all the um, scabs. I've seen greater lags before, but nothing too, too crazy. Like, I've never crashed from loading in the NPCs. All right, Nick's, Nick's Ruaf, or Junk Bridge, we're actually going to come over here to storage, which is a terrible idea on, on top of everything else. If you guys want to know what kind of play style I take, uh, I'm a rat. 
So this whole running around thing is not going to be ideal at first. I got to get used to it. I usually sit in a corner and wish that my parents loved me when I was a child, but just like that, I mean, none of those things are going to have it. Those welder goggles are have a good price on them. So we're just going to be nice and slow. I don't have optimal gear. I only have class 2 armor. So as you can hear already, there's already been a gunfight. And the NPCs will fight each other, not the scavs per se, but the uh, the other PMCs will fight the scavs. I also want to point out that I jump really easily in this game. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm constantly moving so slow that I get so fixated on one sound and then I just lose it and then freak out. And then usually the outcome ends up with me running into a corner and crying. Okay, so we have that going on already. I really hope that that wasn't a grenade launcher and that was just a singular grenade. Since we're not hurting as much on money anymore, as, at least for early game, I mean, we're pretty standard. We got pretty much left behind cash now. So, if things come to worse, I can always just put on a bank robber and buy an SKS and pray that I kill someone. I'm pretty sure I heard something. Yep. So that sounds like it's coming from either new gas or dorms, which a lot of the PMCs spawn at dorms a lot of the times, but you're going to notice that too, like I said before, all the exfils are open, so it's more of a realistic play I mean why have a why have a closed X bill okay no one there should I just I don't even know if I should go towards dorms armor repair kit oh I don't have space to put it Oh, is that a PMC on that bridge? Okay. Let's see if I can intercept this. Ah! Get up. I'm gonna wait until he starts fighting. Okay, so I don't know if he was friendly or not, but 
I honestly don't care. He has gear. And I'm pretty sure after the first time I shot him, he was just going to be hostile towards me already. Now I just need to find the correct way to get up there, so I'm probably going to go back around. He's not a scav, so that's already a problem. Alright, cool. I don't know why I freak out so much at this game. Absolutely. Uh, turn off, please. Hello? Oh, is it on the helmet? Yeah, it's on the helmet. I'll just put that in there for now. Man's got all the things. just in case whatever he has is not ideal for our situation. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that one right there that was shooting at me, I think that's the one that had the SKS. Oh my god. Um, let's just throw this stuff in here. I feel like that sniper scout? Let's set that to 100, because 100 is ideal for a lot of scenarios. Oh, that's Sniper Scav over there. Alright, is this on? Okay, it was already on full auto. Oh my god. I am so glad that he didn't shoot at me. Really? Alright, well I'm not going to need these. Okay, so yeah, that looks like an SKS, so that definitely was the one that was shooting at me before. I'm definitely going to take this frag instead. Pretty sure I can also take that one, yep. Now I can start collecting stuff for the hideout. Water is always good. Alright, let's head back real quick. Let's see what's inside this uh, 1911. Hydra shocks? Jesus. Alright, no, we're not going to be using that. Alright. <clears throat> so, we got a good weapon now. We got good armor. Unfortunately, I ripped into it. So we gotta go around and kill four more scabs. And possibly find more shotguns. But scabs are the, uh, are the ultimate goal here. None of them had grenades, did they? 
Nope. Just a bunch of freaking mayo. Okay, uh, I mean, hey, that's good, so... Not the mayo, the, uh... The Salewa. Because we can start piling those up for therapists. Something? Evidently I did, but it was it was not that close. Usually there's yep, there's a code in here. Cash register. Just put that in there. I'll take that. Did I just see someone run? Hello? Grenade would be really useful right now. Gonna go down and come around the other side. Just reposition a little bit, see if I can scout any up ahead. I swear, scabs love to do nothing more than just yell. Maybe they're talking to each other, but. I personally... Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Yeah, we're gonna go on the other side of this wall. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not good at this game in the slightest. Anybody else think that scabs just sound weird? Are you stupid or something? Okay. So that's four, I think. I can do basic math correctly. There's still the one that was yelling at me over there. Uh, 
I'm constantly all about cover and concealment. So as long as I can get that, I am happy. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there's a lot of concealment, but these guys can see right through that a lot. Grenade. Sprats. Yeah, of course. Ah. I don't hear anything, but I know the AI in this version of the game is a little sneakier. Like that. Okay. So I think we got all the ones here and we already hit a subtask. So that's really good for us. Making sure, extra paranoid. Destroyed this guy's armor. I'll take him, why not? Morphine, gonna need that. Grenade, thank you. So. So none of them look like they had shotguns. Unless maybe that guy did. But... Someone already take your gun? Or did you have a pistol? No, someone already took your gun. Who took your gun already? Was it this guy? Was this guy? All right, um, we we'll drink some juice. Let's see if I even need it. I need it. So eat sprats first, then drink juice. Get that bonus. So, I mean, I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth, so I'm just going to go check that last guy, and I'm going to uh, head out, because, yeah, there's no reason for, for me to stay here. Oh, wait, I already checked that guy, so who am I talking about? A lot of this is just me running back and forth within the same area. Okay, check that guy, check that guy, check that guy. Alright, so, yeah. I mean, not very exciting content, but hey, we uh, we got our subtask done. 
And I don't know, I might tweak the rules a little bit more because it's different. But uh, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, leave a thing with a thing and subscribe. If you like this content or if you want me to change anything or if you have any suggestions of your own, please leave it in the comments below. I greatly appreciate feedback. Uh, this is my first time making a YouTube video ever. So uh, your guys' words is how I get to learn. So thank you very much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye, have a great time.